The breaking news, Sean Diddy Combs will not be getting out of jail anytime soon. He's been locked up since his arrest on multiple charges, including sex trafficking. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is here to tell us why he's going to stay locked up for now. Yeah, Sean Diddy Combs is headed back to the Metropolitan Detention Center. His attorney says he won't be in general population, but instead in the special housing unit. That's where El Chapo spent some time. A second judge today refusing to grant Combs bail for concerns about possible witness tampering. Another day in court for Sean Diddy Combs and another letdown. The hip hop mogul once again asking a federal judge to let him await his sex trafficking trial at his luxury home on an island near Miami Beach. Offering the $48 million home as collateral in a $50 million bail package and citing dire conditions at the detention center he was ordered to yesterday. But today, a different judge sent him back to his cell. Someone's presumed innocent, so you're presumed that you get bail. Not in this kind of crime. He's accused of intimidating witnesses, of trying to interfere with the investigation. None of that helps him. Combs pleaded not guilty to federal charges that he led a criminal enterprise that subjected young women to violence, use of firearms, threats, coercion, and verbal, emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. The 14-page indictment alleging Combs manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male prostitutes called freak-offs. If you combine guns, drugs, uh, sex, it's, you know, a dangerous kind of cocktail. Attorney Gloria Allred is representing some of the accusers, though she wouldn't say who or how many. She says prosecutors have built a strong case against Combs and points to this 2016 hotel surveillance video, which shows Combs throwing his then-girlfriend to the ground and kicking her. We've seen the video of what he did to Cassie Ventura. And that is powerful evidence. Combs' attorney, though, taking to the airwaves, arguing that prosecutors have oversold their case to the public. Count two, which is the sex trafficking count, relates to one person and, and one person alone. All of this talk of dozens of victims and 50 witnesses, if, if they had that, if they really had it, it would be in the indictment. It's... Now, if Combs is convicted on all charges, he's facing a minimum of 15 years in prison with the possibility of a life sentence.